So the object of um, the session this evening is that you can have a brief overview of what the Scouts of the World Award is, understand the journey um, of the participants, so yourselves, and understand the five steps of the award. So what is Scouts of the World Award? Well, it's a key part of WASM's Better World Framework, and the Better World Framework aims to encourage Scouts and non-Scouts to join efforts in collaborative projects that contribute to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Now, if you want to know more about those goals initially, you can go and find information at globalgoals.org. Um, it challenges uh, young people to think about global issues and act upon them locally. It's also part of the learning experience young people will gain knowledge um, of those SDGs. And the award itself requires a commitment from a young person, yourselves, to make their community a better place. So let's have a look at this um, pathway as to what you need to do and how it all works. So first of all, your Scout Network member signs up for a discovery event. Now, there's a number of, the, of ways that these normally happen, which is um, on a face-to-face -face way. Understandably, at the pre at present, that's not possible. So a lot of these are being run um, remotely over a weekend on Zoom like this. The Scout Network member then completes that um, some pre-discovery course material and then attends a discovery event and registers online after that discovery event. So even after the discovery event if you're still not sure and then you think to yourself well i'll go but then always oh, not for me you don't you know you don't have to register until you've attended one of these discovery events once you've attended and you've registered you're then assigned a mentor by the scout of the world war trainers so in this case it will be jan and myself um, your mentor and yourself agree on a project that meets the criteria of the award and then you undertake the award and complete the award journal. Once that project is complete, Scout Network member undertakes a local presentation of their project. That's usually a little bit, if any of us done Explorer Belt, a little bit Explorer Belt style, if you like, um, where you would have somebody like Will there, perhaps um, Elliot's County Commissioner, um, ACC International, which for Lincolnshire is Steve Hartley, um, and also the Scout Network Commissioner, which again for Lincolnshire is Dave Thompson. After that presentation, they all put their heads together um, and basically the Scout Network Commissioner uh, would sign off the award and informs the programme team at headquarters, Gilwell, um, and the award is issued and presented to you locally. Um, and hopefully after that, you would then like to join and help and mentor and support other people in actually gaining their award. Now, to gain that award, we mentioned that there was a five-step process, um, and Jan is going to take you through those five steps. Okay, so the first thing that you would need to do is this discovery then. Um, and as has already been mentioned, um, usually they are done over a weekend as residential. Now, it might be possible to do them as two separate days or we might do it online. It depends really how soon everybody wants to start with it. Okay. At the discovery event, you find out a bit more about the projects. Okay. So step two is to go away and do your project. Your project needs to take 80 hours, so it's quite involved. We'll go into a bit more detail about what those can be in a second. Okay. Step three is to evaluate it. And step four is your completion of it. And then step five is hopefully that you stay involved with that project. That's why it's all linked to the sustainable goals. 
because the idea is that it's a project that runs and runs. It's not like something you would do as a one-off for a different award. Okay, it's hopefully it's something that your community can take up and you can stay involved with. So if we look at discovery in a bit more detail, okay, it has to be 14 hours, which is why it's generally done with a two-day residential. But like I say, we can do two one days. We could do some evening with it and do it on Zoom. It depends how people want to approach doing that. Now, it will be run by the SOA trainers, which, as we said, is me and Michelle at the moment. You would need to do some pre-course activities. They're very simple things. It's mainly just looking things up online, got a bit of an idea of what you're going to be doing when you get here. Okay? And it, the aim of it is to broaden the understanding of the global issues. There's two sets of goals that this is linked to that have been put together by the UN. You've got the millennial development goals and there are eight of those um, there's eradicate extreme poverty and hunger achieve universal primary education promote gender equality and empower women reduce child mortality improve maternal health combat HIV AIDS malaria and other diseases ensure environmental sustainability and number eight is to develop a global partnership for development. From there, you've got 17 sustainable goals, and they're all sort of linked into the same things, number one being no poverty, number two being um, eradicate hunger. And what you would need to do for your project is to choose one of these goals so that yours fits in with that. Okay, so you might want to do something to do with, say, pollution. Um, recently, there's been a lot with plastic pollution and reducing that, and that would fit in with goal number 14. Okay, so you'll go through these in a lot more detail on the discovery, and we do some various tasks that are linked to them so that you start to get an understanding of what they are. Now, your project can be something worldwide if you want it to be. You can go international if you want to. It can be something that's just done in this country, just done in the county, or just done in your little district. Okay? It just has to have a community and a sustainable element to it. How far reaching you want that to be is up to you. Okay? So we do various bits and pieces with those to understand the global issues. Now, hopefully at the end of that, you think, yes, actually, I do want to do this. I've got some ideas for a project. I'm really going to enjoy it. And that's the point where you then go away and register to be able to do the award. And that takes us on to step two. Okay, so this is your actual project. So this is the sort of the meat of it, if you like. So you've got 80 hours. Okay, whether you do... 80 hours in one week or 80 hours over eight months or a year or whatever is sort of up to you and it will depend on the project that you're doing. It's based around the themes of peace, environment or the sustainable development. So by looking at the different goals and picking one, you'll be able to put your project into that. The mentor isn't necessarily Michelle or myself. If you've got a specific project in mind, we will try and match you up with somebody who has skills in that area. Now, they might be in scouting, they might not. There's a short online course that they have to do, so even if they are in scouting, if they're not already down as a mentor, they would still need to do that. But if they're not in scouting, it's not a problem. It's more important that we match you up with somebody who understands what it is that you're trying to do and has some skills or knowledge in that area. Okay? Um, you'll need to set out a bit of a plan. So you'll need clear project objectives, the time scales, and realistically what you can deliver. Okay? Your ACC network or equivalent, so it might be Wheeler's deputy program, need to be aware of what you've agreed what you've registered and then agreed with your mentor that's going to be your project. 
it needs to have a long-term sustainable impact on the local, national or international community. So, for instance, you might want to do something um, surrounding the no poverty or the eradicate hunger. You might want to put together a website that has ideas for very cheap, nutritious meals so that people are getting the five a day and things like that. That's something that would run and run. It's not just for the 80 hours of the project. So you need to be thinking long term. Okay, that takes you on to step three. Okay, which is the evaluation. So the aim of the evaluation is for you to reflect on what you've done and your development through doing it. So you might have picked up new skills, new computer skills, new word processing skills. You might have put together um, PowerPoints. You might have had to design a web page. All sorts of different things, which will then help you to do other things. Okay. So how does the evaluation process work? You need to review in your logbook. Don't get hung up on the term logbook. It can be a diary. It can be a set of notes. You could record how you're getting on with things as a um, an audio thing. However you want to do that's up to you, but you will need some evidence of what you've been doing along the way. Okay, And you will need to do the presentation bit, which if you've done Explorer Belt or Queen Scout will be easy peasy because you've done it before. If it's a new thing for you, it's fine. We can talk you through the steps. We can try and help you as much as possible. Okay? And it does have to be done to that panel of people. And they might ask you some questions, but it should all be okay. Okay? Which will take you on to step four. Okay? So at that point, hopefully your project is up and running. You've done your 80 hours. You've had all your evidence of what you've been doing along the way. You've done your presentation. And hopefully, at that point, we can sign it off um, to say that you've completed everything and then send it off to go well in the same way as you would for next floor about. Okay, and step five, okay, is to stay involved with the project. It might be that it's something you've set up that maybe then district scout groups can take up. I know one person, they set up a campsite and then they stayed involved with it by helping with the maintenance while other groups were using it. You could become a mentor to guide other people through. If you've learned some specific skills, it might be we can match you up with another participant. And then if you really feel like getting involved, you can do the train the trainer course so that you can do the bit that Michelle and I are doing now. Okay, so there's lots of different pathways that you can that, and outcomes that you can have from this which will then help you in lots of other ways be it job wise scout wise whatever okay right so that's the five steps okay great stuff well thank you all very much and um hopefully we'll see you all very very soon